Neurological Disorders Lesson 5.7 is Addiction and Chronic Disease. The goal of this lesson is to emphasize that addiction is a chronic disease and not a moral failing. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to distinguish between acute and chronic diseases and explain why addiction is considered a chronic disease. We'll achieve these goals with a Socratic discussion and a jigsaw on chronic diseases. To prepare for this lesson, you'll need to review the key scientific concepts that will be presented in it. They include acute versus chronic diseases, addiction as a chronic disease, and similarities and differences in treatment approaches, including behavioral modification and the final outcome between chronic diseases. The chronic diseases included in this lesson are addiction, high blood pressure, and diabetes. You can review the scientific content in the background reading provided to you in the Teacher Primer, the Teacher Manual, and the Student Workbook. The Teacher Primer provides in-depth knowledge about the scientific content presented in the lesson. The Teacher Manual or Lesson Plan provides a minute-by-minute -minute explanation of lesson structure, including instructions on how to manage the discussion and activity. And the Student Workbook provides additional explanations for your students. You'll need to be sure to print the Do Now worksheets, the Jigsaw readings, and the Jigsaw worksheets for your students. The key points of the lessons do now are a disease is an abnormal condition affecting the body, the differences between acute and chronic diseases, that acute are short duration and chronic have long duration. We'll get there by defining disease and sorting diseases as either acute or chronic. In the Do Now, you'll give each student a copy of the Do Now worksheet and have them work with a partner to define the term disease and then categorize diseases as either acute or chronic. You'll go over the Do Now in the discussion. The key points of the discussion are acute versus chronic diseases and that addiction is a chronic disease because addiction causes long-term changes in the brain, addiction is compulsive, non-voluntary use of drugs, and people are never completely cured of their addictions. We'll get to these key points with a Socratic discussion. The first part of the discussion allows you to review the do now with your students. First, by discussing the definition of disease, an abnormal condition affecting the body. Then by discussing acute versus chronic diseases. Acute diseases have short duration, but may be very intense and have a rapid onset. Chronic diseases persist over a long period of time and then by identifying which of the do-now diseases are acute and which are chronic. These slides are all animated, so you can ask your students for their answers before displaying those that appear on the slides. The discussion then transitions into the explanation of why addiction is considered to be a chronic disease. This argument focuses on three central points, that addiction causes changes in the brain, that addiction is the compulsive, non-voluntary use of drugs, and that people are never completely cured of their addictions. The key points of the activity are the similarities and differences in treatment approaches, including behavioral modification and final outcome between chronic diseases. The chronic diseases included in the jigsaw are addiction, high blood pressure, and diabetes. We'll get to these key points with a jigsaw on case studies of chronic diseases. During the jigsaw, students will complete six jigsaw readings, which allow them to explore the similarities and differences between chronic diseases. The chronic diseases covered in the jigsaw include addiction to heroin, addiction to alcohol, addiction to inhalants, and addiction to cigarettes, as well as high blood pressure and diabetes. Caution, you'll want to be sure to double check that the jigsaw readings are at an appropriate reading level for your students. To help your students focus on the most important details of each of the cases, give each student a jigsaw worksheet that has them take notes on those key points, which are the disease, the treatment, as well as how well the patient stuck to the treatment plan, and final outcome. You can review all of this information in the jigsaw worksheet answer key. It has everything organized just as your students will be organizing it. Additionally, the teacher primer and teacher manual go over all of the key scientific concepts included in the jigsaw. After the students have completed their jigsaw reading and taking notes on it, you'll organize a teach back in which the students will teach each other about the case study they investigated. This could be organized as small group discussions or done as an entire class. To help the students focus on the most important comparisons to make between the case studies of chronic diseases, the teach back should be framed around three general questions. Who was cured of their disease? What are the treatments for the different diseases? 
How are they similar? How are they different? And how are the actions and strategies that the individual took to deal with their diseases similar? And how are they different? The key points of the wrap-up are that addiction is a chronic disease and that addiction causes long-term changes in the brain. We'll get there with a reflection and discussion. During the wrap-up, the class will focus on the fact that addiction results in chronic effects on brain activity, just as heart disease results in chronic effects on heart activity, and thus addiction should be considered a chronic disease. The key point of the homework is to use evidence to make an argument regarding coverage of addiction treatment. We'll get to this key point by writing a letter to advise a government agency on whether health insurance should have to cover addiction treatment. Additionally, now is an excellent time to have a quiz or test on the material covered either just in Unit 5 or on the module as a whole to assess your students' understanding. You can find sample questions and their answers posted online, which you can adapt for your classroom. Students often ask for more details about the idea of addiction as a chronic disease. You can find more in the Teacher Primer, Teacher Manual, and Student Workbook. One of the most common questions teachers get is, that there is some choice involved in addiction, so why consider it a chronic disease? And yes, addiction starts with a choice to consume a drug, but by the time someone is actually addicted, drug use is compulsive and non-voluntary. Additionally, some argue that by categorizing addiction as a chronic disease, disempowers addicts from getting the necessary help because it's a disease. However, many chronic diseases require choices and commitment to behavioral change for treatment. Addiction is no different. At the end of this lesson, students should appreciate that addiction is a chronic disease, resulting in long-term structural and functional differences in the brain and requiring behavioral changes to treat. This lesson concludes the module, and now we've come full circle because this lesson highlights how our choices, specifically those related to drug use, change our brains and that those changes can then change our choices. Don't forget, if you have any questions, concerns, or feedback to let us know, you can contact any of the CTSE team members and we'd be more than happy to help you.